back in the opening frame, a very scrappy affair on a re-spotted black. Trying to double the final black into the left centre pocket. He fluked it into the right centre. How will O'Sullivan respond? Not a great safety from the rocket. He's been near faultless in his first three matches. But you've got to pot those. That was a big opportunity for you, Delu. He knows it. Worse than missing the red, it's given O'Sullivan the chance to get his hand on the table in amongst them. Eight. And we know what normally happens when you allow the rocket to do that. Yeah, we're thinking like a couple of frames down the road, it could be normal service resumed. That's what we've seen from him already in this tournament. He's made five centuries, including the Controversial. One four six. If you can call a one four six break controversial. 15. Certainly generated some column inches. Yeah. For being well, a point lighter than it might have been. Well, he, he, was, he didn't have it in his set. I wonder if we will see a maximum at some point over the course of the next three and a half days. You wouldn't bet against it would you well, you wouldn't bet against this guy if he's still, if he's still here which we expect him to be sixty thousand pounds for the winner of this tournament twelve thousand for anyone who can make a maximum ten thousand for the actual one four seven plus the added two thousand for the highest break yeah the reason that's coming about is because it's a rollover system it's five thousand pounds for each major ranking event fifteen hundred pounds for the minor events and of course let's not forget the neil robertson made the maximum 21. in the final in the UK. That's why it went to 5,000 in Germany and it's 10,000 here. Michael White in the background there. He's in charge of frame four against John Higgins and 2-1 up. Higgins with a fair bit to do. He's 50 points behind with 59 left as we speak in that fourth frame in some danger of falling Two down with three to play. The defending champion will keep you posted. Well, this could be a key shot coming up. In fact, he could play a cannon on the right hand two reds. It's one that goes to the left corner here. Yes, he won't go into them fully. Well, there's another one there, actually. I thought he caught those reds to the wrong side, but there's one in the middle of the pack as well. That's okay. 46. Yep, there we go. Forty-seven. Well, normally, we'd say frame over. It probably will be. Well, a bit low. He'll play the one there, the pink, I think. 54. He's playing this one. 55. This all the result of Udalu's failure to pot that relatively easy long red off the poor safety from O'Sullivan. 60. These could have been his. The thing is, I mean, Ronnie's been blessed with all this talent and everything like that, but you don't get this good just by having the talent, Phil, do you? You have to work really hard, and this guy has really worked as hard as any professional in the game. So often, you've seen him at tournaments that he was waiting for players to come off the practice table. He was there on that table, waiting for another player to come off. He was there 
on that table. Okay, you might not practice as much these days as you used to, but you do not get this good with this skill factor and this touch without working hard. Absolutely. A thoroughly dedicated professional, O'Sullivan. He loves the game, he loves everything about the game. He's always looking to add something extra to his game. A normal service very much resumed here after a sketchy start, which might have been prolonged had Udalu potted that red. 83. Well, this could be career century number 813. Talking to David yesterday, Phil, about the possibility of Ronnie making it to a thousand. It's down to him as, as how long he wants to play, really, and how many tournaments he wants to play. If he does play for the next three or four years, he could possibly get to a thousand, which would be incredible, really. I can't see anybody else doing that. Hasn't played that one very well, though. 96. Oh, go on, Ronnie, knock this one in. Oh, unlucky. Couldn't have been closer. So no sixth century break for Ronnie O'Sullivan, but that was a quick fire, 96, to level the match after Udalu had missed a big chance to keep him under pressure. One, of, one apiece then. And O'Sullivan just uh, testing the trueness of the table by the looks of things here and not happy about it. Quick chat with Marcel Eckhart, the referee. Clearly O'Sullivan not happy about something. Well, I think but he will be happy that he's leveled the match. Yeah, I think he thinks this top cushion is bouncing slightly. We'll be back after the break. One frame all. Yeah, I'll give it a proper... 